If you're new here, my name is Christian Gildane. And I'm his big bro, Alex. Dabbing on him like the usual. Hit that subscribe button, guys, because the more love you show me, the more love I'll show y'all. And hit that little like button, because you never know, I might bring you some little luck over there. Right here, you guys are wondering, what is RVR, which just stands for Reality versus Virtual Reality. It's coming out to you guys in two weeks. The first episode comes out February 21st. Circulate on your calendars. Put a Siri reminder. Hey Siri, remind me that RVR is coming on February 21st. Because it's going to be the best video you've ever seen coming from me, Christian Yoke. And the Don't Bust Chris Show coming, RVR. Are you pretty happy about it? Yeah, I'm pretty excited, man. The biggest thing that I like about it is that it's virtual reality. And that's a new space that is an untapped market, and I'm ready to partake in that journey. Exactly. It's a new journey that me and my brother are partaking in, and you guys are going to be in the journey with us. Now, today, we're going to be talking about Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day could mean many things. Everyone has a different opinion on Valentine's Day. My, some people have told me that they don't like Valentine's Day because they're very single, like me. I'm very single. And I'm not. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. So, instead of being sad this Valentine's Day, make it about yourself. If you go out, go to Starbucks, get yourself a coffee. Go to Chipotle, get yourself a salad. Treat yourself right because you're not, no one's going to love you until you love yourself. And guess what? Just because you don't have that significant other, doesn't mean that you can make you can um, show love to your family. You can show love to your friends. I haven't been hanging out much with my friends lately, but for Valentine's Day, I'm gonna make it a mission that I hang out more with my friends and I hang out more with my family because that's what's important. Because love is what makes us human. If we didn't have love, we would be monkeys. We don't want to be monkeys now, right? Nah. No, so I heard that you're not single. How's that going? It's going great, man. I'm actually been born on my fourth year with the love of my life, and uh, this Valentine's Day is going to be very special for me. But uh, one thing that I wanted to talk about is that a lot of people harp on the uh, financial aspect of the present. Definitely. Because you never know, um, every day is different. One year you might be rich and balling and making that money rain, and the next year something happens and you have to spend boy. some money and you don't have money and you don't have money to spend on a holiday which could definitely become a financial struggle when that happens don't let that ruin your valentine's day you know there's other aspects that you can tackle in which you can make things romantic and small gestures can go a long way when it comes straight from the heart um, one little tip that i'll throw out there right now that i might do is you know you can just get a, a dozen of flowers right and then what you do is, before your girlfriend or your boyfriend come home, you can get all the petals off the roses and make a little trail from the door all the way to the bedroom and then have a small little present there waiting. I like it. Check this out. I like that idea, but what if, what if you're asking me, what if I can't afford 12 roses? Guess what? Just buy one rose, put it in your mouth, and do some salsa dancing. Yeah. <laughs> And give it to him in like a ceremonial way. Just because it's one rose, you could do 12 rows like his and go all out. Exactly. Or you could do one rose and just do salsa dancing and do no. something different. Spice up the relationship. Put Valentine's Day is to things. spice it up. Put your own little seasoning and make Bam. it beautiful. Make it tasty, guys. I'm going to give you guys one more tip to being single during Valentine's Day. Dab on all them haters. And guess what, guys? All that money you would have spent on a girlfriend, I've heard people spending two, three hundred dollars on people, guys. That's okay, you're showing your love. So why not show your love to you? Buy yourself something that's two, three hundred dollars if you guys have the money. Or whatever money you would have spent on someone else, spend it on yourself. Pamper yourself because like I said, it's at the end of the day, you're the one who goes to bed and wakes up. And for me, you know, one other tip I'll, I'll throw out there is that, you know, one thing that's very expensive nowadays, believe it or not, are Valentine's Day cards. You're spending around 3 to $5 just for a piece of paper, you know? Yeah. And one way that you can, if you know you have financial struggles, you can actually just get a piece of paper and jot down a nice little note that has a meaningful message and that can go a long way. All right. Before you guys go, I just want to remind you, R. 
imagine a show that you could look to the left and behind you. Oh, wait, guys, that's me. What's up? Coming to my YouTube channel in the near future. RVR, which stands for Reality versus Virtual Reality.